today's fun with feathers. <laughs> it's lovely to see you all. So for those of you that haven't joined us before, my name is Stacy. You may have recognised me from coming to playgroup at the Well Community Centre. And this is my friend. <laughs> this is Feathers. This is Feathers the Flamingo. And Feathers helps me out with all of the crafts. And today we are going to be looking at under the sea animals today. So we are going to start with a song and we're going to do some craft and we're going to be reading a lovely book at the end as well. And it's one of my favourite books. It's called Tiddler, the Storytelling Fish and it's by an author called Julia Donaldson and Alex Scheffler. And we're going to be reading that at the end of the day today. And the craft that we're going to be making is a fish puppet. Now, Feathers, can you tell me where do fish live? Where do fish live? One thing I didn't tell you about Feathers is she's very cute. She's just flicked a load of... I said, I asked you where fish live. I didn't say show me where fish live. I get it, I get it. Fish live in water. Fish live in water. So they can live in the sea. They can live in rivers, they can live in ponds. And we're going to now sing a song about a little fishy. So let's do that together now. cheeky feathers. You will need a lolly stick or a straw. You will need some glue and potentially no glue for you feathers. She always sticks her beak together when I put her near glue. She's very cheeky. If you have some, some sellotape and then you will need some craft safe scissors but it's very important that you are careful around scissors and you get an adult to help you. Feathers always gives us a little warning, don't you, Feather? And you will also need some pencils and some pens. And if you have some, some glitter to decorate. So the first thing you're going to do is you are going to take your hand and you are going to take a pencil and you probably need someone to help with this and draw around your hand on your piece of card. So you're going to draw around it just like this here. Now, one thing that you need to know is that Feathers is a flamingo and she eats shrimps. Now, she loves shrimps very, very much. And eating lots of shrimps is what makes her feathers so pink. But something else she likes to eat a lot of makes her feathers very pink. And they are my favourite biscuits, Jammy Dodgers. So I have to keep an eye on her that she doesn't steal my Jammy Dodgers. If you see her stealing my jammy dodgers, will you tell me? Will you shout out, she's got the jammy dodgers? Will you do that? Do you want to have a practice now? So one, two, three. That's it, I heard you. So Feathers, they're going to tell me if you steal these jammy dodgers, okay? So, after I've drawn round my hand, you will see there something like that. And that's when you will need your scissors. So what do we say, Feathers? 
We say, parents, we've got scissors. So parents, please help the children cut this out. All right, there we go. So we're gonna cut around that here. Okay, what, what was that? I thought I heard the children saying, She's got the jammy dodgers. Was that right, Feathers? No? Well, they're still there at the moment. But that's really good that I can hear the children. Really good. Yeah, Feathers, your luck might be out now. Now I've got a little crew of people to help me in getting my jammy dodgers stolen and gobbled up. Okay, so then when you cut your hand out, you should have it looks a bit something like this. Then you want to take your lolly stick or your straw and you want to sellotape or glue it onto the back there. So just there, like that. So what you're going to need to do. So I'm going to use a bit of tape to do that. Okay, so it should look something like that. What's that you said, boys and girls? What did you say? Were you taking the jammy dodgers again, Feathers? Mm, I'm keeping an eye on you, and so are all the children. So here you will have now, this is going to be the start of your fish. So this part here is going to be the fish's fins, and this is going to be the fish's face. So what you're now going to do is take a piece of paper or a piece of your leftover card, and with some help from your parents, you're going to draw a little heart shape, just a little one, so something like that big there. And then again, you're going to use the scissors. That's right, because you're going to cut out the little heart shape there. And the heart shape on there looks just like that. I was going to say looks just like the heart shape on my jammy dodgers. Hmm. Now what you're going to do with your heart shape there is you're going to put a little bit of glue on it. And this is now going to be the fish's mouth. This is going to be the fish's mouth, which is going to be here, oh, like this. So there we go, the fish has a little mouth like that. So the fish has a mouth, the fish has some fins. What else does the fish need, Feathers? The fish needs an eye. We need to draw a big, beautiful eye for our... Ah, 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 ah. I can see you. I didn't even have to listen to the boys and girls for that. I saw you, you cheeky flamingo. So I'm going to draw a big eye on my fish there, just like that. Now, you may even have some little wiggly eyes at home that you can stick on. But there we go. I've now got, I've drawn an eye on now. Now, you can now decorate your fish however you want with your pencils and with your pens. I'm going to use some glitter because I quite like glitter. I do, I do, don't I, Feathers? I quite like glitter. So I am going to use some blue glitter and some green glitter is what I'm going to use. There we go. Okay, and some green glitter. And what we would really love to see is some of your fish puppets that you've made. So maybe you could ask your parents or your carers to send us some pictures at Bonnie Downs because we miss seeing you all and the work that you do. So it'd be really lovely. So there we go. I have made my fish puppet there. Look, it's like he's swimming in the sea. There we go. Look at him. So now we are going to settle down and we are going to read our story. Ah, ah. And I'm going to take the jammy dodgers away from feathers. And we are going to read our story about Tiddler, the storytelling fish. So for today's story time, we will be reading the story of Tiddler, the storytelling fish. And this story is by Julia Donaldson and Axel Scheffler. Let's read together. Once there was a fish and his name was Tiddler. He wasn't much to look at with his plain grey scales. But Tiddler was a fish with a big imagination. He blew small bubbles, but he told tall tales. Sorry I'm late, I was riding on a seahorse. Sorry I'm late, I was flying with a ray. Sorry I'm late, I was diving with a dolphin. 
Tiddler told a different story every day. At nine o'clock on Monday, Miss Skate called the register. Little Johnny Dory? Yes, Miss Skate. Rabbit fish? Yes, Miss. Redfin? Yes, Miss. Tiddler? Tiddler? Tiddler's late. Sorry I'm late. I was swimming round a shipwreck. I swam into a treasure chest and someone closed the lid. I bashed and I thrashed till a mermaid let me out again. Oh, no, she didn't. Oh, yes, she did. It's only a story, said Rabbitfish and Redfin. Just a silly story, said Dragonfish and Dab. I like Tiddler's story, said Little Johnny Dory. And he told it to his granny, who told it to a crab. At nine o'clock on Tuesday, Miss Skate called the register. Little Johnny Dory? Yes, Miss Skate. Spider fish? Yes, Miss. Sunfish? Yes, Miss. Tiddler? Tiddler? Tiddler's late. Sorry I'm late, Miss. I set off really early. But on the way to school, I was captured by a squid. I wriggled and I struggled till a turtle came and rescued me. Oh, no, he didn't. Oh, yes, he did. Only a story, said Spiderfish and Sunfish. Just a silly story, said Devilfish and Dace. I love Tiddler's story, said Little Johnny Dory. And he told it to his granny, who told it to a place. Who told it to a starfish? Who told it to a seal? Who told it to a lobster? Who told it to an eel? Nine o'clock on Wednesday, Tiddler was dawdling, dreaming up a story, his tallest story yet. Lost inside his story, he didn't see the fishing boat. He didn't hear the fisherman. He didn't spot the net. Meanwhile, in the schoolroom, Miss Skate called the register. Little Johnny Dory? Yes, Miss Skate. Leopard fish? Yes, Miss. Leaf fish? Yes, Miss. Tiddler? Tiddler? Tiddler's late. Ten o'clock, eleven o'clock, still no Tiddler. Twelve o'clock lunchtime, where could he be? Far away, the fishermen were hauling in their fishing net. This one's just a tiddler. We'll throw it back to sea. Tiddler was lost in the middle of the ocean where strange lights glimmered. And his strange fish flew. He swam around in circles. He shivered in the seaweed. But then he heard a story, a story that he knew. Tiddler rode a seahorse. Tiddler met a mermaid. Tiddler met a turtle who saved him from a squid. Tiddler found a shipwreck. Tiddler found a treasure chest. Oh, no, he didn't. Oh, yes, he did. Tiddler peeped out and he saw a shoal of anchovies. Excuse me, can you tell me where you heard that tell? We heard it from a shrimp, but we don't know where she heard it. And they took him to the shrimp who said, I heard it from a whale. I heard it from a herring. I heard it from an eel. I heard it from a lobster. I heard it from a seal. I heard it from a starfish. I heard it from a place. The place said, just a minute, don't I recognise your face? I'm Tiddler, said Tiddler. I'm tracking down my story. The place replied, I heard it from my neighbour Granny Dory. One o'clock, two o'clock, still no Tiddler. Nearly home time, where could he be? Just as the fishes were finishing their lesson, in swam Tiddler at half past three. 
Sorry I'm late, but I swam into a fishing net. I managed to escape and I swam away and hid. I was lost, I was scared, but a story led me home again. Oh no, it didn't. Oh yes, it did. It's just another story, said leopard fish and leaf fish. Just a silly story, said butterfish and blue. It isn't just a story, said little Johnny Dory. And he told it to a writer friend who wrote it down for you. So what a lovely story. That was really lovely to sit and read that together. So we are going to be back here with you next week on Tuesday with another craft. And this time we'll be looking at buzzy bees. That's what we'll be looking at. But for now, I think we should end our craft and story session with another song. What do you think, Feathers? Yeah. And so this song is about another animal that lives under the sea. Now, you wouldn't really find this animal in ponds or rivers, only really the sea. Only really the sea where it's quite warm, where the countries are. It's not a flamingo, feathers. It's a big, big, big fish. And it's got quite sharp teeth. What do we think it could be? You're right, Feathers, it's a shark! It's a shark! But it's okay, this isn't a scary shark. We're going to sing a song now about a baby shark. How does that sound? Okay. So it'd be lovely if you can join in with us at home and do all of the actions, and me and Feathers will learn as we go along. Okay. <laughs> today with you children and we will see you back here next week take care bye